At this time, I would like to yield two minutes to my friend and colleague from California, champion for law enforcement, Representative Obernolte. Oh, thank you, and I thank the gentlewoman from Florida for yielding. Madam Speaker, this last year has seen an unprecedented wave of violence against law enforcement officers across our country. In particular, in my home state of California, 23 law enforcement agents were shot in the line of duty last year. And in my own district, the 8th District of California, one was unfortunately shot and killed by gunfire. That was Sergeant Dominic Vaca of the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department. Congress needs to work to support and improve our law enforcement agencies, not to defund or dismantle them. I'm committed to protecting our law enforcement agencies and to defending the rule of law across our country and their efforts to keep our community safe. Madam Speaker, last year I was proud to host and honor a dinner for 15 of California 8th's first responder community who went above and beyond the call of duty last year to serve and protect our community. Amongst our honorees were San Bernardino County Deputy Sheriff Dustin Whitson, who was shot in the line of duty while responding to a call at a storage facility in Hesperia. California Highway Patrol Inland Division Officer Garrett Morris, who helps run an after-school racing team to provide community support and a safe alternative to illegal street racing for kids in our community. San Bernardino County Deputy Sheriff Tiffany Couts, who was instrumental in obtaining the arrest and the conviction of a man who was sexually abusing his own stepchildren, and San Bernardino County Probation's Corrections Supervisor Gina Martinez, who passed away last September after 21 years of ensuring that each youth in her care obtained a diploma, employment, and a place that they could uh, call home and feel safe. Madam Speaker, each of these law enforcement officers are examples of the dedication our first responders show to our community every day, and their stories are echoed by countless law enforcement personnel across our country. Madam Speaker, it is time that this Congress stands behind our law enforcement officers and the rule of law. I want to thank, again, each of our law enforcement officers for their dedication to our community. I yield back.